Just as Kennedy's retirement will set the stage for a nomination battle in the Senate over his successor, Eric Rosales brings us this look at who President Trump might pick. With the news of Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy's retirement, President Trump has already created a short list of candidates. Each prospective nominee has the potential of shifting the ideological balance of the court ever farther to the right for decades to come. Different conservative groups uh, contributed both ideas and suggestions to the list that, Senator, uh, that President Trump uh, is going to use. A and the principles that are common among all the people on the list are traditional conservative principles. Justice Kennedy often provided the swing vote in liberal decisions like legalizing same-sex marriage and upholding Roe v. Wade. Heritage Foundation senior legal fellow Thomas Jipping says among the potential replacements is Amy Barrett, a judge in the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. There's also a former clerk to Justice Kennedy in the running. Brett Kavanaugh, who is a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals here in Washington. He's been there for more than a dozen years, very experienced. Another name on the list is Georgia Supreme Court Judge Britt Grant, a member of the Federalist Society and only 40 years old, which would make her one of the youngest Supreme Court justices ever. Hours after the announcement, some headed to the steps of the Supreme Court. It's going to give Donald Trump another opportunity to pack the court with extremely conservative uh, justices, and so we're not we're going, we're out here to kind of push back against that. That could be a wasted effort, according to CNN legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin, who tweeted, "Anthony Kennedy is retiring. Abortion will be illegal in 20 states in 18 months." Hashtag #Scotus, a move that concerned women for America hope to see. You want there to be a constitutionalist appointed because they believe in the Constitution as it was written. Um, it's not that they think it's a living, breathing document that will say whatever they want it to say based on feelings. Other conservative groups like Americans for Prosperity and the Judicial Crisis Network already announced that they plan to spend at least a million dollars on the looming battle to replace Justice Kennedy. They want, quote, a nominee in the mold of Neil Gorsuch. Eric Rosales, CBN News, outside the Supreme Court.